spells, and then I can play 14 of my nine decks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many decks am I at? Hmm. I have nine decks. I have one, two, three, but I can only play three of them currently. <laughs> um, however, the fabulous Benjamin Hutchings has given me some login details. Oh my goodness. This might be my last day. Let me check his collection. Let me see what I can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is great. Oh, he doesn't have any nine tails. What? He said he had... Liar! He lies! <laughs> oh, God. Has he got Meganadels? No, I haven't got Meganadels either. Bronze. <laughs> and he's got one locked Blacephalon, so I love you, Benji, but... You've been absolutely no help at all. <laughs> oh, God. You've done nothing. You've achieved nothing. <laughs> Bless him. I love him, but... Oh, melon. <laughs> no help. Right, I need to either make this list not terrible, or I need a trade to come in at pace. What do you need? Because I genuinely might be able to help, unless it's new stuff, then... Um, Solgaleo promos. Oh, crumbs, I need them as well! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> I don't know how I haven't got these. Sticky, how's it going? Mini Mads, AKD. Oh, I need to stream open. I accidentally traded for the wrong Solgaleo as well earlier. Oh, I did, the, I did the filter of Solgaleo oh. promo. Yeah, I, I forgot those. I forgot those another lost promo. Packs, <laughs> lost on the packs, I'll never get back. No. It's absolutely tragic. He was like, oh my god. Someone's oh. just. Giving them away. Oh, wait. There's a promo on this one as well. Yeah, so I've definitely got that. Mad Captain, how's it going? I need to darken the chat because I can't really see it that well. How do I do this? I know there's a way that I can do it. Here we go. Things are getting exciting down here. I'm trying to do stuff live. Mmm, interesting. Uh, let's go to Streamlabs, see if this is going to work. That may have just refreshed the chat. We'll see. No, it's still working. Have I ever tested buzz tails with custom catchers over the Lycan Rock? Uh, I've only just started to test that build. Um, my buddy Luke played it in the league challenge yes. in Latam 90 player league challenge and he finished top seed with it but he also he played custom catchers but he played 1-1 one, one Lycan as well <laughs> look at us prepared as ever guys <clears throat> crumbs okay that's not worked oh I really wanted to play um Solgaleo list. 
I mean, we never finish in one week. That's so. True. Okay, I guess I'll leave my ninth deck, and if we don't get to that amount of games. Six, seven, eight. Okay, I have eight decks, and then hopefully one can become. I don't. I don't right now. Give me five minutes because someone's just trading me the stuff I need. Okay. Uh... Annoyingly, I don't have these either. Blame Kirkham. <sighs> Can't wait for Harrogate. Got Wakefield Cup first. Wakefield Cups before it. I thought Wakefield. I thought a red Wakefield Cup was January. So I wanted to go to Wakefield, but can't if it's in December. Right, I need to also take screenshots of my decks so that I know what I'm doing in every turn. Oh, that's such a genius move. Where are my decks? Wait for a couple of December 2nd? Oh, I probably can't go to that then. And it so also it's... gives people a chance to see what madness is in store for them. <laughs> oh, everyone wants more cascoons. I'll give you a hint. The first deck that I've just screenshotted does play one adventure bag. How? Uh... How is that a hint? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> How would you feel if mine also was? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I, did some, <laughs> I did some thinking, and I thought, what's the best way we can use some bad cards this week? Yes. I'm glad um, we're on the same page, Jack. Oh. No, in the end, I took it out oh. because I think I think there are better cards than an adventure bag, like supporter cards. Uh. Um, but I was close. I Ad promise you adventure that. Adventure bags a draw too. People play Cocoon, you know. Adventure bag is a draw too, and it's a draw a choice band, so it's technically better than a Kakui. It's technically it's better 30. than a Kakui. Yeah. <laughs> if someone doesn't clip that, we we've dodged a bullet. If I'm honest. <laughs> Right, that's deck number one. It's... Right, I've got I've got nine decks. Holy pog! I've got to write down who I've traded stuff to. Play Roton. He says I'm not. Um. Cheers, Paul. I really appreciate the card you lent me. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh... Mm -hmm. And remember, Jack can see the chat, so when I'm making questionable plays, just don't tell him, okay? Mm. That's the rules. Uh, let's go for this one. Because it's my baby. Oh, I do need to put a card in, though. So I don't embarrass myself in front of all my friends. I need to make a couple changes actually. I need to change these for a start. And I need to make a space. I don't really like cutting this card, but we'll do it in the name of this card. I guess we'll say whoever is ahead after this week has to put their decks up first. Yeah. Uh, rename. Apologies for the typing, people. I just want to do my screenshots now, because otherwise I will forget. I have so much stuff open. Close this, close this, close this, close this. Right, let's print screen this. Oh, crumbs. I definitely left out a whole line of... Pokemon. <coughs> no, the bottom line. Got to put my Zara Larks in. Oh, crumbs. I did find a deck earlier on. I was like, there's so much space in this deck, I hadn't put Ultra Balls in. That would have been embarrassing. Hmm. How's this going to work then? If I paste this and then move it over, yes, yes, 
technology cooperating. I'm already very nervous about all this. Oh my god, it's working. Crop that. Oh my god. He's done a thing. What's happened? No, I think something's gone wrong. Yeah, definitely gone wrong. Bugger. <laughs> right, let's, let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to try and go, like, middle of the park and hope that I remember counts of things. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Okay. All of my decks are on four lines. This is incredible. <coughs> Too many tech Pokemon. Too many tech cards. It's a Joe matchup. What's your craziest deck, Joe? Uh, how, you don't have to know the actual deck, but on a scale of 1 to 10, how wild have you gone? Because I don't think I've gone that wild. I mean, I've not gone crazy, crazy. I've only gone adventure bag, uh, adventuring bag. Yeah, crazy. I mean, if you call adventure how, bag crazy, then I guess how, I'm it. How wild can you go with adventure bag? How wild an adventure can you go on with adventure bag? Why that one sticky? Because it has ten more hit points, and that's good against Decidueye. Shh! Don't tell him. E-Man twenty six. Thanks so much for the follow. We will be underway shortly. We're just doing our shenanigans. This one. I'd prefer this to be a different deck, but I don't have the cards. <laughs> Excellent. Try this one. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, um. Nine tails for adventure bag gets you four tools. That's absolutely broken. Only if you get double. Double adventure Wait. bag. In the deck I'm playing, I'm getting double. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, I'm on. We have three more. Hey, a good deck. Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> I get I get about halfway down my page and then it's just Zoro X Zoro X Zoro X. Oh, okay. Zorro X. <laughs> oh, this is only three pages. Oh, this is four lines. Sorry, this is going to be a struggle. This deck is a real deck? Question mark. It is today. Yes. This some is of happening. the some of the things that didn't make the cut. Um, Lost March, so I did, you know, trash. Granbull, because I have a headache already. Um, and Coco Naganadel, because I decided I want to try and win, but I was so close to building it, just because I think it is actually somewhat legit. You get a win. Um, Sasha Feb, thank you so much for the sub. Enjoy your little oh, Jimmy it, emote. It's the sub. Um, I was very close <laughs> to building that. When am I playing Gramble? When I get him back from Luke, blame Luke. I told you. I told you. All your complaints need to go to don't jerk the kirk69 at gmail.com. <laughs> Directed to our complaints manager, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of these lists are so big because of Ditto, you can play everything. Okay, so... I've got two more to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then my ninth deck, I'm hoping I won't have to use. I guess my placeholder can be... This. This is the placeholder. So if we get to our ninth game in some random madness, I'll play this. But... I'm hoping I'm allowed to change if I can actually get Sogaleos next week. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you 
even if you have to like as as long as you have to play it tonight you can change you can't play it as your first deck and be like oh this is trash but if yeah. it gets to a point where you get to nine but don't win with the ninth then you can still change to Sogaleo stuff um, is that done is that on nine Any one two three you didn't agree with clifton 60 ah. i think my 60 is a little different from clifton's also okay <laughs> What an absolute mess. That's all I'm that's all I'm saying. You ready? Um Yeah, yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Good. It's it's this time again. Playing Let's Go as I watch the stream. Nice. Hold on, let me get a text box going. <coughs> While I choke to death. Needs to definitely be less transparent. Uh, that's better. Okay, we'll keep it by the jar. Scores on the doors. Yes, I am still ill somehow. Turns out not sleeping and having two 12-hour flights doesn't <laughs> help your throat. <laughs> Pretty bizarre, I know. Anyway, we get to go, Jack? Hell yeah. I uh, just have to have a quick mental preparation to see where yeah. I start. I need, a, I need a breath. I need a little sip of a drink. Right. Like... I need to mind game Jack. It's always about, it's always about that first counter cue. I'm going to start this for now. Just so I, uh, Oops. I'm clear in the mind. Mind, body, and soul. I'm playing Blacephalon first. Cool. I was going to counter cue that. Nice. He's lying. He's taking control of the situation, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we'll just play the uncounterable deck. Ah, I could have counted you harder, but this feels, this feels good enough to me. Definitely good matchup. <clears throat> okay. Don't play the good decks first, says Nick. Can't play Pokemon. No, the whole joy is someone gets ahead and then has to win with the clownery at the end, and then the other person makes the pullback, or someone struggles to win. Don't worry, we've uh, done this before. This isn't our first first <laughs> nine. Oh, God. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming if I eye open her, they'll stay where they are? Yes. Okay. Get your I haven't, little notepad out. I haven't eye opened it on PT Joe before. Yeah, it definitely uh, works in that way. Cool. Need to make sure I know where my Alolan Muck is. Scott with a hundred bits oh. saying good evening. How's it going, Scott? Go goes. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right, let's go. A good turn one. We got the elm. Happy days. Got the attachment as well. Busted. Broken. The longer the stream goes, the more they misplay. You need the good decks to cover the misplays. Uh-oh. Jackson, you've gone on Skype. Is this, is this more mind games from him? Next level. Hello? Oh, my God. Is he going to disconnect? Am I going to disconnect? I don't even know at this point. Hmm. Let me check. The stream is still going. So it might be Jack's end. I know his computer's being temperamental at the moment. Hmm. He has stopped doing stuff, though. 
Oh, it's on. Yeah, it's on. Iron Shrek. Game one. Mateo, how's it going? Hmm, where's Jack? Seems to have died. Wasn't happy with the counter queuing. <laughs> no, not want to have a good start like this. Come on. No. Let me try and message him on Facebook. See if he's trying to talk to me. Not when I elm turn one. You alive? Question mark. Uh oh. Come on. We had the optimal lead and he didn't lead Blacephalon. I call. I call cheatsies. Why did I cut the 101 Solgaleo? Doesn't that make the Gramble and Zora control matchups better? Um, yes. Makes both those matchups better. But, um. It's a 101 line at the end of the day. And from what I saw from Robin's play, and what I saw when I started testing this deck myself, is that this is always your opening elm. You can never squeeze in a Cosmog in your opening elm. So you need to just randomly sort of get the Cosmog once everything's got going already. So it kind of feels like you just have to have it for it to work. And there are prizing issues at play. There's, you know, the amount of rare candies that you have accessible is always an awkward thing to note. And it just won't come out in every game. So I feel like just trying to simplify the list will give you an overall better win rate. I also think that Gramble is likely on the decline because of Zora control. Everyone plays Muck in Zoroark now. So I believe Gramble's in a worse place and therefore I don't want to tech for, uh, for it anymore. Uh, so, uh oh, I have a response on Facebook. <laughs> He's saying that someone's DDoSed him, of course. But, I mean, for the event, I don't mind that he added Solgaleo, because obviously Gramble was expected as a top deck. And, you know, he's someone who tests with Tord sometimes, and Tord was playing Gramble, so he'd at least have to have tested against it once or twice. And the Solgaleo can definitely help out. You actually saw me in the video uh, yesterday that I would lost to a Gramble. I did prize uh, my second Alolan Ninetales and second Swampert, but I could have used an extra attacker. <laughs> so... But yes, it also helps out against Zora Control, which is definitely worth thinking about. But at the same time, Zora Control is also heavily on the radar, which makes me think it's in a less good place, which makes me want to not tech for it as much. It's kind of weird um, philosophy, but Zora Control was perfect for that event because pretty much no one was expecting it in, you know, to be played by the top top players. I think a lot of people were looking at other Zoro variants, like Zoro Stage 2 stuff, and Zoro Tales, how Zoro Rock changes, all of those things. So I don't think uh, don't think people were expecting for Zoro Lock to return. Especially with the sort of, the one-hit hero decks that came out from this set, uh, plus Ephelon. Uh, you would feel like Zoro Control wouldn't be strong in that meta. It's just no one was prepared for it. You're alive. He's slowly, he's a spinning wheel right now. Do, do I think Zora Control is degenerate and or unhealthy? Uh, I don't like its strategy. Don't think it's great for the game, but there's enough answers for it that, it, that it's not degenerate. How is Zora Control gonna deal with Faber? Not well. What are my thoughts on Expanded at the moment? I would love to spend a free weekend Trying to figure out Expanded and theory it all out. But to be honest, I'm just so far away from Expanded that I haven't given it much thought for the last, like, three sets. So, when I no longer have a job, 
I will, uh, well, when my job becomes streaming and coaching, I should say, um, I will be able to have more time to commit to those sorts of thoughts, and I will um, have some exploring expanded videos coming out once I uh, am confident that I have a better grip of the meta. Sad that the LATAM VG finals wasn't a perfect mirror. It was that it was those American uh, playtesting buddies, right? One lost in top four, and then the guy got revenge in the final. Um, seemed like a good set, to be honest. Obviously, they've done their research. Um, he's already it's the same LATAM winner from last year, so clearly a good player won. The good team. I just know that everyone went crazy when he. Uh, and the guy tanked an attack from like a Xerneas or something. Was it an Incineral that tanked? Something tanked and survived. That like swung the tide of the game. Something lived with like 6 health. Hello. Hey, I think I'm alive now. <laughs> ah, excellent. <clears throat> Alright, so that's 1-0. Um... Cue the same decks, yeah? Yep. You can go first as well. We'll try and make it as... Can you also put an Elm in my hand with a supporter for next turn? Mm. I can try. <laughs> I had my one-off Lele in hand, so I was happy as well. But, you know. Just that is one of. I guess someone decided to turn the internet off at half eight at night. Where are you? You're not logged in. What? I am. Hold on. Let me try and battle you. Clowns. That's so weird. Okay. I am alive. Um, right, I need to pause the stream because I don't want to cheat. Watch as Joe Lego bricks. <laughs> Kick his butt. I'll try, Laura. I'll try. What's the best card you think? Came from Lost Thunder. Elm, Ditto, a load of Ninetales, top three. Like, that's just obvious, right? It can't not be those three cards. Oh, I said I was going to let you go first. This has all gone wrong. Ha! Look at him! <laughs> Look at him already, chat! <laughs> <laughs> already! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um... You can pretend you got a mulligan if you want to. It's not too late. <clears throat> I guess I could. Oh no, because then I can evolve and stuff. Nah, it's fine. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just play as if I'll this just is set turn. up. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna set up my board fully and then pass my turn. <laughs> I really hope you don't mind. <laughs> um... Oh my goodness. Oh, Ben uh, is here. He's happy that Guard is on straight away. <clears throat> Deary me. What an absolute pog champ. Uh... Let us one of again. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Uh... Clown with a clown. Yep. Correct. Okay. Four charge. Is there a rock anyone? Hmm. What if this is wrong? This, oh dear. Okay. Clown man. Jack knows that clowns are my weakness. I always forget that Burst GX is an attack. I've done it in two videos now. <laughs> Where I've been like, they can't win from this spot and they just Burst GX for game. <laughs> Twice. He's only got one energy, oh. Literally, I'm like, 
Mate, he needs like beast energy, E switch, E switch, Kikui choice band to win here. Oh, burst GX. <laughs> oh no! Oh crumbs! What? This list is not optimal. I'm not letting you have a third bite of the cherry. What? Why? It's only fair. Because you're not getting a better start than this. I hope. Monka S. Oh, oh, yeah. I already think my first turn was incorrect. Mm. Oh well. <clears throat> oh yeah, just a guardy. It's just a guard of war. Yep. It's good, isn't it? Um. Oh, crumb ham. Zoro tails built with four judge. Hand disruption is too important right now. It is pretty good. Joe looks so happy right now. It is fun to play stage twos. Can't deny it. I reckon you've misplayed with three daggers on board turn two. Uh oh. Yeah, Judge is pretty good right now. Um, the amount of people trying to beacon stage two is out. Huh. Interesting. Ow. Well, I could do. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's enough for now. Um. Hmm. Could do retreat and do that. That's early burst. Early why burst. Why don't you the... just uh, yeah. turn for I think, me? I think I should have turning pointed, but now I've committed to this. Um Early Burst catches the worming. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself, honestly. Yeah. Because we're going to hit our one-off. We didn't. That's a shame. wonder how Swampoleon does in the current meta. What a name. What an absolute name. I love it. Pretty sure this is right. Feels right. Mind me, Jack. I'll just have a turn two. Yeah, it probably feels right, doesn't it? Just win the game, probably feels feels right. Oh, flip two heads. Now I look silly. Should have got a, should have got a candy. Should have believed. Candy, yeah. <laughs> Reese hasn't lost with these uh, these clowns, so no pressure. 
Oh dear. Yeah, it's pretty good that is. Um Crumbs. How many clowns it take to make a circus? Clowns dominating. I mean clowns hasn't been that dominant, so I don't think it's surprising that it's not been that popular, but it is still a good counter deck for the Cephalon for sure. It can also be annoying for like Buzzwall and stuff. I think Lucia being played in Buzzwall now does make life a little bit more awkward for those sorts of decks, though. Um. In Clowns, is Lucia for Beast Energy f Heat Factory too cute? Uh, is it better than just a lily? That's my question. Oftentimes it feels worse than a lily. You're drawing less cards. And honestly, you'd rather have Ultra Space early than Heat Factory. A lot of the time. Yeah, I feel like Heat Factory is your, <clears throat> your late game stadium. Um... I can uh, help you dig for like Guzmas late on. I don't think it functions the same as Boswell decks in that sort of, that sort of way. Oh, I could have seen an extra card then. Oops. Bench that poi pole. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Thinned it like a good boy. Bench that blitz there for Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Is it enough to win me the game, though? Good question. Um, let's do a bit of charging. Why does it sound like there's a horse in my hand? <laughs> Mm, okay. Four energy. Four whole energy. One, two, three, four. Ta da! I did it. Mind blown. Done. Bang. Bang indeed. Sweet a bit. <laughs> Next two prizes, two energy. Why can't I burst those? Crumbs. Oh, Swamper. Why are you so good? Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. Good, isn't it? Uh, I do need energy cards, though. That's the only thing oh. I do need to require. So I guess I'm thinning some stuff. Joe, what are you doing? Oh, crumbs. Um, that's a Xerneas one. Seen our latest video, Jack. <laughs> Woot face. I've seen the really fresh looking thumbnail for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I haven't had time to watch it yet. Embarrassing. Okay. Um... Is 
this is a very dark path I've found myself on. Oh, good. He's identified that win con as well. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> I've identified it. <sighs> right. Shuffle, how's it going? First stream you can catch? Awesome. Hope you enjoy. David Allen, how's it going? <clears throat> What's wrong, Jack? You can kill this guardy. Easy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just detonate it. So what if I told you the play was Ultra Ball for Marshadow to hope I find a Guzma? Mm. How funky does that sound? Sounds good. Sounds sketchy. Um... It's all going to be okay as well, because you've used Burst GX, so I won't get surprised by that later <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, what an absolute mess. Um, okay, 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 okay. So you didn't have access to Marshadow on the, uh, on the beacon turn? No. That's rough. And had to Lele turn one, yep. which was great for getting that sort of turn one supporter, but absolute garbage now. Right, come on. Two in 19. We need it. Oh, crap. <laughs> so there needs to be no energy cards in your top eight cards. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's two on the discard, so... I mean... You... Don't, don't give me false hope, Joe. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <clears throat> okay. Do I ever win? In general. Correct. Do I ever win <clears throat> by... Let's see. Knockout. Knockout. Oh, Ugh, gives, gives getting you real tired over here, Jack. Shut up, Banana. Getting real sleepy. DC someone de <laughs> someone DDoS me again, quickly. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Guardies on its way to taking a scalp, I feel. Super boost stayed. That's always a good feel. What are you doing playing Sophocles in your deck, Jack? I'm playing a split. Embarrassing. Mad props for Ultra Boy two away though. That's why they don't know. Ultra Ball fodder. Yeah, I got you. Nice. Um Hey, I know it was a slow turn, but I had to work out how to win if possible. So if I'd if I'd been able to use my kill that You'd have had to have found Guzma plus two energy. You had the Guzma as one energy. I have DC in hand. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Muffle, how's it going? Right, that's uh, Gardy Swampert out of the way. Just make the change. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Didn't give me enough time to DDoS. Ree! Guess I'll go first. Oh, crumbs. I didn't see the types. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's me, Steelix Wellord. Don't. <laughs> hey there, Jack. How does this sound? Ding, ding a ling. You're such an absolute snore. <laughs> <laughs> hey now. Ding, ding a ling off. Ding a ding a ling. I've left my onyx. How am I meant to get active, eh? It's alright, I just won't bench any Pokemon for you to give It's fine. Exactly. Um, on a level, how the hell do I kill a Trimeco with any of the Pokemon that don't have abilities? I see snow. Four turns in a row. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> after see I'm a celeb can't blame you apparently uh, Noel Edmonds is meant to be going in today tonight that's got to be a low point in his career hasn't it wish PTGO would get rid of the type preview screen so do I to be honest and the deck box alerting you of what types people play it doesn't give you the same uh, like lack of information that you have in a tournament, at least in the early rounds. You know ah. what some people are playing at cups and stuff after like round three, but that's it. This hand is too good. Um. Is it Noel Edmund's entire career his low point? Hey, he's had some Christmas crackers, all right. What on earth do I discard here? Holy. Guardian Swampert, probably. <laughs> what does Marshdomp's attack do, Joe? I'm not <laughs> telling you. <laughs> You've got to search for that Ultra Ball. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ding a ling. Yep. And been blessed with content this week. Oh my god, he actually did get rid of a nine tails. What face? My hand what is... What face? Ooh. My hand is honestly that good. Holy. How um... can I win? How can I win when his hand's that good? Mark stream three days in a row. Wow. I got to catch him a little bit at the end of his stream today. Oh, I can't use muddy water. Crumbs. You don't have the energy... Required for muddy water. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell me, Joe? <laughs> there we go. Energy drive. That's a two shot. Five hours each. Wow, that's a lot. That's crazy. Mark's back. Back in action. Dalton, thank you. It was a good show. It was fun. Well, I think my Discord is wrong now. Hmm. I mean, if you have Guzma, I just lose. So, let's hope you don't have Guzma. Or any way to find it in your seven card hand that also plays treasures. Oh no. I feel sick, Jeff. Jonathan's career was the straight uh, high point was being the straight man in duo with Mr. Blobby. I mean, Mr. Blobby, Blobby was a sensation, so I don't think that's even an insult. That might just be the truth. 
think deal or no deal is a pretty big uh, like national treasure. Don't know what it says about our nation, but <laughs> <laughs> take from that what you will. Uh... Muddy water and surf busted. Just don't have it. I don't, don't. I don't have Guzma. I did oh. pay two escape ropes, though. Oh, good. And I'm going to be digging, I think. <clears throat> Ow, that was my knee. What a mess. Bloody Onyx. Just miss. Last chance pro. Oh. Last chance pro. Well, now we're in a lot of trouble, huh? Let's go, Onyx. Let's go, Onyx. Fishyak, thanks so much for following. You absolute ledge. Oh my god, abilities. Go, 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 go. Get him in, get him in, get him in. That's not an ability. That's not an ability. Jack. What are you playing at? That's one. That's an ability. Starting Onyx looks like a huge pain. Yeah, it's very low odds for us. But we do also play two Giratinas. So, we do have a good amount of uh, bad leads in the deck, to be fair. We have two Coco, four Inke, one Chimeco as good leads, though. So, a little well, bit unfortunate. Dear. But at least we can land crush him. Right? There's always an upside. Master Maxim, thank you so much for following. That's rad. Uh oh. Floodgates. Opening. Stop! <coughs> Two item cards, you say? Anything you want. That's busted. A little bit broken, that is. Choice band. Ultraball that at pace. See you later, mate. You fell for it. <laughs> Can't ever kill a Necrozma now. Man, we've done well at making this deck look flames, haven't we? Look at that. I feel like Trimeco is just going to be stuck on the board for a long time this game. Are you an Ultra Beast? No, you're not. Okay. So just have to hit me for 70. Yeah, right. Get rid of these Inkies. They've got abilities as well. No, the Malamars have abilities as well. I don't like that. Hmm. True that. <laughs> That's right. Just just two DCE on an Onyx. Any other questions? <laughs> Sorry, you have more questions. I don't see how you can have more questions with this. <laughs> it's just a casual two DCEs. That moment when you realise it's just a quad onyx list. <clears throat> crumb, crumb, crumb. What do you think about choice bands and Lavatar over spell tags and onyx? I really like bands, mainly to help spread even more with Coco. I'm playing uh, that many spell tags. I'm playing that many choice bands. 
Uh, Lavatar is cheap enough and sometimes effective, but the thing is, Zorak's trying to heal against you the whole time, and if they're succeeding in healing, Lavatar does nothing. That's a problem. My list is more similar to Azevedo's top 64 list, if you're wondering. His list is cool. He was a little bit crumbed. Some would say. Crumb would say. By his own Tate and Liza. <clears throat> crumbed by his own Patar. What does that even mean? I've got three Zoroaks on board, Joe. I know. Busted. They don't even get hurt by Shrine. Bit embarrassing, isn't it? Swampert better than Zoroark confirmed? I mean, when wasn't that true, anyway? But... Which Pokemon do you prefer as a Pokemon, Zoroark or Swampert? I like them both, to be fair. I have a soft spot for Swampert, just because that was my Gen 3 starter of choice. Yeah, that's right. 60. What of it? This whole spread thing. Yeah. No Shining God? Yeah, we play the Shining Boy. Do we offer coaching? Not yet, but <clears throat> turn of the year we will be. So keep an eye out on the Facebook and on Discord and that good stuff. We'll probably make a video as well. It's going to happen. Yeah, well played. <clears throat> Nectar. Guardy feels so fun. I don't. I don't know. I'm reluctant to reluctant to call it good because it also feels very very sketchy sometimes. But my god, is it fun? Yeah, it's just fun. Right, challenge me whenever. Cool. No more Guardi on stream. Too Benji. good. It's just too good. See you later, Benji. See you next stream. <laughs> <laughs> clowns again. I borrowed the clowns, so I need to. <laughs> I need to win with them tonight, <laughs> so I can send them back. Guardi is good. What you're talking about? Guardi's not bad. I'll 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 definitely say that. <clears throat> Guardi is definitely not bad. Paul, thank you so much for the host. When does set rotation happen? September. September first. Going ish. First with this hand. Really weird. Against a Blacephalon too. Mm. You don't know me. This is Volk. This is Volk. Oh, I guess I lead this then. It's blue. Bayard. <laughs> you see the list after the game? Uh, we'll try and rattle through as many games as possible, but at the end of the stream tonight on our Facebook page, we will put all of the lists from either me or Jack, depending on who's ahead at the end of tonight so keep a look out No fear. There's the clown. The clown prince. Only one Tina in my list? No, there was two. Right, let me note down my prizes. Perfect. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're enjoying 
the stream. <laughs> I'm going to burst into a Cynthia. Deliberately. <laughs> Balpad, <laughs> give me better odds, please. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess what? this deck feels so weird a mess is the perfect way to put it don't whiff don't whiff don't whiff don't whiff don't whiff poggers yeah it's this of course it is what am I saying it's oh yeah Sublimation the poi bowl, Joe. Do it. You reckon? There you. Next level. Uh-oh. He's got into the game, lads. That's the one thing we didn't want to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if they'd given an Ultra Beast draw support? How broken that things like this and Beast Box would be. That'd be a bit scary. Sublimation. Oh, misplay. Misclick. Egypt. <clears throat> We're going into the eye of the fire here. Eye of the storm. Yeah. Bait and sublimation. Bait and sublimation. Does pretend one still stream? Yeah, he streams. Let's establish some point holes first before we start getting happy with clowns. Happy clappy clown. Do some charging up. Ultra Recon Squad. What? Wait, why am I not playing that? Let's play. Attach energy and die. Or bursting burn and live. Yeah, I know what confusion does, game. Nailed it. Joe can't find Guzma or Flip Coins, it's fine. We'll find second. Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> oh, come on. You do it this way, right? Yeah, let me trade this first. <clears throat> we have so many options. No, you hit the <laughs> Oh, good. What's to play for Harrogate? Um... These identified another win condition. Um, <coughs> I don't know what the play for Harrogate is. I will be playing Zoro something because Zoro is broken. Good in it. I'll be hoping to dodge Buzzwall all day. And yeah, um, more power to you. Buzzwall isn't the play, I promise you that. Shady eyes. Real slim shady eye. Oh. Oh, part of the plan. No, Joe, no. This is not part of the plan. Or part of your plan. 
here on it. Ooh, hold on a second. I spy a wind condition. Yeah. Five hundred IQ. This guy's insane. Come here, big bird. Oh, you think big bird is your ally? <laughs> no, you're quite the opposite. Admirable. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> can't keep oh, it together. Me malicious. Jack found the way to lose. <laughs> nah, this is fine. Busted. Also got both energy off the active. Oh, you. Um. It's a shame this is in here. I think we have another one, another one of these though to do the play, do the the thing and the stuff. Oh, oh crumbs! Oh crumbs! Oh crumbs! This is a top right. This is a top right. A bolt mission. I guess we do some training first, huh? Joe. Yeah. Can I take back that last turn? No. Why? Because I need it. <laughs> I need it. Ah. <sighs> yeah. This is... Oh, good. He's spotted that, then. Yeah, I spotted it. <clears throat> Tragic. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What was that? Desi Zoro. I knew it wouldn't let me down. Like crummy Malamar. <laughs> Crummamar. Pepe hands. <laughs> 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 Where are your e-switches? Indeed. Indeed. Still winning. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Cool. The poor guy. One decidual eye was all we needed, boys. Is Jack made part of the coaching team? Mark no, face. I'm not, Mark. He's doing juniors. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, uh, Bacephalon again? I need to get. I, I can only borrow them for tonight, so I have to play with them until I win, basically. Uh, it's going to be a long night for you, huh? Yeah. There's a couple of other things I can only borrow for the night, but I want one more. One more try. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared for the spread mirror. Got his fabled defense ready. I want to have a crumb hand again like last time, so I guess we'll get the savior of the format. <laughs> that card. Huh? Pretty good time. Orangaroo, yeah! Yes, 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 yes. Exactly, exactly, chat. 
busted card. So time to whip out the Shining Genesect Venusaur. Save it for later. Don't tell him. Shining Genesect Venusaur got Sceptile, so now it's busted. <laughs> Three GX Pokemon on your board straight away. Incredible. Mmm, <clears throat> scared of the shiny boy. Mmm. -hmm. Heal that burner real quick. Yeah, I think I will. Do this, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Ultimate. That's a lot of damage. sense hmm hmm <laughs> Blew my mind.
spread, then dead is the plan. The spread's working. It's just the second bit. How many Werewolf Lords am I going to need? 300 hit point basic what face. Yeah, pretty insane. Six. Six Werewolf Lords fill the ocean. Yeah. Sounds about right. Wow. I'm to spend all the energies. He does not want me to do stuff. Do those arrows. Not one bit. Nah, this is pointless. I'm pretty sure I'm too far behind. Mm. Never say pointless. But you're not right. You're not in good shape, but... Is your Lele prize? Yes. Excellent, we're in. That's an orange guru. You want some? He'll give it, yeah. Because he will give it to you. Three hundred and fifty hit points with a new tool. Holy! Do you think tag team GX are a good idea? No. Honestly, I don't. I think they're pretty bad for the game. Every single one of them has the potential to be the new "I will sit in the active with a lot of hit points and the rest of the text means nothing" cards, and. It just makes the times two weakness just so, so relevant and so like, you can't play any tag team deck for too long because people will just play a non-GX that kills it and that prize trade alone is absurd. So maybe it becomes a card that you put down only at the very end of every game to try and completely swing you back in good shape, but it just sounds really stupid. Well, Lord Mill makes a return. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you don't, you can ignore the entire text of that card other than thirty hit point, uh, 300 hit points, right? And it's just a good card for that. And that's just not a good thing to have, I don't think. Promo Solgaleo seems like a good partner. Yeah, it does those 120s. Its jet attack is... Really bonkers if you can ever get it. I feel like it only works in expanded though. That GX attack. Because you need 8 energy. Like, come on. But doing 100 to everything, not just GX, is, is absurd. Whimsicott Plasma Lugia to take six prizes on a tag team. Naga Quag. 
Yeah, we did get uh, let loose into a reasonable hand, huh? Oh, good. Yeah, I win. I mean, we had four turns to find this combo, but now is fine too, I guess. No, didn't even didn't even need to show him. Just baited him. Clown town. Running into some trub trub. Where are you? I still can't see you online. So weird. <clears throat> Strange. See tabs. Thank you so much for the follow. Is Bocephalon good? Yes, of course. Look at this little pogger. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Adventuring satchel, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mm hmm. Ah. Mm. Uh, I have to do it this way. Can I post this list? You've been looking for Gustavo's but can't find it. I can post you my list. Obviously, I saw Gustavo's, but oh. I have not copied his 60. Oh. I'm just going to get counter queued for the rest of the day, aren't I? What do you mean? Well, I haven't seen any buzzwall from you yet. <laughs> no, you haven't. Miss? Sweet. Oh, crap. Time to break out the quag, sire. Always. I have a Naga quag list built. May or may not be part of my nine. Reese says good night and re <laughs> to Jack. <laughs> That's great. Jack, the pog is stream sniping you. <laughs> Do I think commentary without having access to deckness is better? It makes it better to think as the player. Being more surprised when some text gets played. No. I think full access to a deckless is better because otherwise com um, commentators can go on a whole tangent or question plays when they may not have the right counts or physical cards at all in their list. There'll be times where, where we can say certain things about a certain player's list that gives you better insight of how the matchup goes, how the opponent, how the player has prepared for that matchup or not. Uh, so I think it gives you better insight to know a full list. 
and it allows the commentator to be fully informed Come and on. not be uh, and make less mistakes overall. I don't think a commentator being sus a surprised is necessarily a good thing. I think it's better for a viewer to be surprised by these sorts of things. Um, but a commentator should be able to, in my opinion, know the way the game's going, know the flow of the game, know who's ahead, know what they're doing, and know how the opponent can respond, because then you can talk about what they need to dig for, what draws are big, what helps them, what's less relevant, stuff like that. Because you'll never hear a commentator say every single card of their five-card hand. They'll just say, oh my goodness, he's got the Guzma DCE here that can really punish this play or whatever. And you can be like, oh, but it's just it's his last DCE because he only plays three, so he has to be careful. You can do all of these sorts of things that you wouldn't be able to do unless you need their, their 60 cards. So that's what I would say. The opponent doesn't know the counts? That's true. play as a team, lads. That's true, Benji, I guess. omniscient point of view is actually bad in some cases because of that yeah i know what you're saying but it's weird it, it's like you'd prefer uh, i'm trying to think of an example i could use for like sports or other commentary Index sucks. Guardy sucks. Yeah, neither of these decks can deal with Solgaleo, Mark. So I agree. What should you take on this weekend cup? Whatever you've tested, man. It's always what I'll say, especially in this format.
<clears throat> You've tried Malitina, but you're really not into it because of all those Zoros out there. You can beat Zoros if you go first and get Bell of Silence off. But, yeah. Sogaleo Lance of Salamence Dragonite is fire. That sounds like a lot's going on in that deck. Sogaleo is definitely a card I want to experiment a lot more with. I was talking to Mark on his stream today as he was testing it a decent amount. He sort of used the shell of Clifton Goes, um, what do you call it list? Zoro Desi Tales but put the Sogleo in instead. And then he tried out a build which was more similar to um, Robin Schultz's Gali list with Super Boost and Swampert. I want to try both of those out. I think they're both well positioned right now. That's not Guzma. Sogaleo Tita. Oh yes, Mark. After you learnt so much about that Tita, that busted uh, Pupita, which is genuinely a very good card. If Tyranitar was a better card, oh boy. There's actually been a few articles about Tyranitar. Thoughts on Zoro Metal with the new Dialga from Lost Thunder as a tech. The so the Dialga is really weird. I mean, there's a lot of stage twos coming out, which makes it kind of look better. Uh, and Metal's a good type to be because you can punish uh, Guardian Nine Tails. So maybe there's something. The card isn't bad. The Dialga is certainly not bad. I actually saw some people trying Dialga in the list that I'm playing right now, where they try and go counter energy, counter gain, devolve, and hit for sixty. So yeah, Russ is genuinely considering Titar. I it's not that it's not good. Don't get me wrong, uh, but it's uh, not as meme tier as people first thought. I guess still pretty meme tier though. You got him. Simeon ruling the world. Busted deck. I do have a lot of Titar GX IRL. Doesn't mean I want to sleeve it up. Hope I get destroyed in Harrogate by Titar. I'd be surprised if I did, because I'm leaning towards fighting decks. So it would be a surprise to me if it did happen. Can't seem to get T-Tar running. Well, it shouldn't be a surprise to you. <laughs> I'll be honest. Just 
actually knowing what he's playing a month in advance. Not at all, but I think I'd, I'm leaning towards fighting stuff just from where the meta's looking right now. Obviously, there's another regional this weekend, which changes things all over again, so... Like, I'm going to a cup this weekend, and I'm leaning towards fighting stuff. It's just where my mind is at the moment. Although I did pick up two Solgaleos, and Mark had a pretty convincing argument today. Until that T-tar came up. <laughs> For Simeon all the way. That T-tar. Busted card, huh? Get me out of this hand, please. The stage one, yeah, the pupitar is what got you excited. Pew, 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 pupitar. That immunity for a turn is pretty ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Am I going to the cup at Sneak Attack? No, I'm going down to Eastbourne. And I'm hoping I can go to Bexhill as well on the Sunday. It's currently full. Um, but I'm like one of the first on the reserve list. And I'm really hoping I can do the double cup. Because a lot of my friends are doing it. And I'm in the car with them. So otherwise my Sunday is a little bit wasted. You're not really having too much fun with Turbo Zero Aura either. I mean, Vika Ray actually got to 31 points in um, in Latam. That really surprised me. I didn't think it would ever get that high again. Um, but apparently it was just bopping stuff around. Still getting that turn to Vika Vault. Zero Aura obviously is a nice addition to the deck. Saved you spaces. With just good synergy. So. You know. When you know, you know. <clears throat> Naga Ray is pretty fun. That's pretty much what I'm playing right now. But fighting. I'm playing Naga Buzz. No, my ultra space. Re. Move the kitty. Well, this Diancy has been really annoying to lead, hasn't it? <sighs> Means I couldn't take a prize turn one, and now it's gone forever, which also sucks. Let's just have a double Lele board, shall we? Sounds busted to me. Zero Aura promo Solgaleo could be fun. What's Zero Aura promo? Oh, promo Solgaleo. Right, right, right. Um, I don't really see why they would synergize too well together. Compared to just playing it with Zoroark or Swampert. Ah, 
<clears throat> Does Pokemon list the tournament deck list on their site anywhere? Just curious if competition lists are public. Um, I don't think they do. No, I don't think they do. Strictly for judges and staff eyes only. I think Limitless get them literally by asking around a lot of the time. I think when they do unofficial streams, they have ac access to deck lists though. Which helps tremendously. Did I talk to Pablo last weekend? I didn't. I, I saw what happened to him, which is awful. Um, but honestly, I didn't have much time to talk to anyone this whole weekend. Um, because there was only three of us, whenever we weren't physically casting, we were backstage um, helping the production team. So we literally never had a chance to walk around. <clears throat> Surprise, mother. <laughs> Please don't whip energy. Oh, dear. Who needs Prism Star cards anyway? Mm. Uh oh. Okay, did not realise that was the case. Well, that's a problem. Where are my Nagana dolls then? That's embarrassing. Um, I guess I'll just grab one of these. Wait, where did you get? And then see what you got. What? Not a Nagana doll. <clears throat> Joe, what the hell am I playing? I'm playing Buzz Nagger. Cut those janky B strings that everyone jumps over because they're all spread decks these days, apparently. And uh, playing Naga to help you in mir Boswell mirror matches. It's all there, guys. It's all. It's all. It's all there. You just need to think about it hard enough. That's the key. Oh, and obviously we play this. <laughs> what does this deck do to a Dawn Wings? It still has Lycanroc. Hmm. <sighs> Don't know why you're grimacing. You're in pretty good shape. Hopefully. Definitely in bad shape. You need to listen to this ridiculous deck. I mean, I I wouldn't get too worried about how this game's gone. Everything went wrong for us. We led a Diancie. 
We prized two of our nag uh, both of our Naganadels. We've had to put two Leles onto our board. This was prized too, so we couldn't take advantage. Like, Jack jumped over this, but we couldn't uh, ever get abuse of this. I feel like it's... You've seen it at its worst, pretty much, is what I'm trying to tell you. Time to be brave. And it's time to let loose. Crumbs! <laughs> okay. Um, well then. Whipping energy and support is pretty fun, huh? Beetle. that we still could have won that game <laughs> <laughs> after all that that happened okay Oops. that's the two decks I was enjoying playing gone now to the other stuff What's the muck for? Gramble. this been open this whole time sorry if you guys have been hearing any uh, Facebook pop-ups I've been baiting you this whole time Pretty popular, I guess so. I'm just in a bunch of Facebook groups. I haven't posted the lists. They'll be coming out on our Facebook at the end of the night. I'm sure you can get a decent idea of, of them oh, uh, as so we play. Shit. Oh. 
10 is super relevant. I'm more worried about evolve into switch count again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stop, Joe. I mean, my turn one was trash. Let's be fair here. My turn two is a bit better though. I think this is correct. stuff and the things into play. There's someone in my house. It's my cat. <laughs> Scratching away at the the litter box. Unfortunately, it's right in your ear shot. But there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I could push it further away, but I can't be bothered right now. Um, I want to trade, that's for sure. Don't know what I want to trade. I want to play this as well. I guess we'll just play this and pass. Chat playing Bicephalon part four, yeah. You have to get a win with it then, do you? Gotta be done. Still still going for bursting burns. Ten short feels bad man. still can't really <clears throat> do the things and the stuff that I want to do here. I can't trade. Yes, we can. We're going to be aggressive. Try and build this hand up. I really need all these cards again though. Okay. <laughs> we'll just do this. Uh, I really want to trade here. I do and I don't, and I do and I don't, and I, I will. <laughs> Not worth. Oh well. Okay. Hmm. 
this deck is really good, but other decks are good as well and able to beat it. Yeah, that's true. What I think about Gustavo's Persimian, I really liked it. Surprise! Wow. Surprised that he played it, but. Oh, Mr. Energy. No, a hand of six. Ah, oh, busted. What the? <laughs> what the? Woot face. Hey, kitty. She just attacked the screen. She just touched the coin as well. That's great. She's trying to flip the coin. Get out of here. Oh, mind blown's broken. Oh, wait, no, it's not broken because I didn't scout it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's good. Oh, that's something to remember. Beat down and I'm out. Yeah. We dug. <sighs> and we found the combo. Alrighty. Play 2 2 2. Of what? The combo. Yeah. But Lele did nine tails to the pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wondered in general. <sighs> right. Still got time. Still got plenty of time. There's a Black Friday sale on bits. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to stream on Friday. Oh no, I'm traveling on Friday. Misplay. How did someone get Top 10 Glacium? Was it ever shown on stream? It was never shown on stream, which is really unfortunate. Um, I think at the, on its first game of day two, it either lost or tied. And that sort of kept it in the murmurings for us never to really show it afterwards. It was in the morning. We were like, oh my god, Zora Glaceon, it's here. Someone's doing well with Zora Glaceon. Zora Glaceon? Zora Glaceon could win the tournament. Boom, best deck in format. And then it like lost or tied its first round and we were like, oh crumbs, we can't stream it. <laughs> um, but I really wanted to. It was definitely a... Uh... It was cool. The, the guy was really like, everyone was spooked to face him basically just because of Turn 1 Glaceon shenanigans. What are the advantages and disadvantages of playing Zoro Desi Tales over Zoro Decidueye and vice versa? 
Disadvantage of playing it with Desi. No, no, what am I saying? With Ninetales is you have less board space for Decidueyes. Um, the main benefit is that you get your setup way more often. You have better Ultra Beast counters. And you have access to a very good spread attack that combines with Decidueye very nicely. Playing a straight Desi Zoro just has more space for big birds. That's pretty much my analysis. I've completely screwed this first time. <laughs> what have you done? You Ultra Ball, but not for a Lele? Yeah. Oh. It's fine, I'm going to fill my board anyway, so you can just GX and detonate if you want to. <clears throat> Busted! Do I want this to a more basic system? There's no list on Limitless either. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, wow. What happened? <laughs> All the Zora controls are a bit worried about Zora Glace. Yeah, I mean... They can always just Guzma themselves into freedom and remove all their energies quite easily. It's just if they get over that hurdle of early Glace. I think a couple of them tied to the Zora Glaceon just because there were games where they just lost because they couldn't do anything. And then when the more normal game plan happens, they just body them. Pretty much what I was seeing happen. Actually made a mistake this turn. Should have discarded this card and then just drew with the lily. Do I think half the field will tech for Zora Control at Roanoke? And what should people tech against it? Bacephalon can play Kiawe or E-Switch. E-Switch probably being the best. Um, because even if you Kiawe, they can still Articuno you and trap you. So E-Switch definitely in Bacephalon. Just more people playing Buzz in general is going to happen. A second copy of Switch in Gramble, but obviously Gramble has a work, like a pretty bad matchup regardless. Um, what else? What else? Orangaroo's in every Zoroark deck, not just Zoro Control. Uh, more people playing Weavile. Maybe some Zoro Weavile. At least Weavile alongside Ditto. Um, lots of things. Lots of things. We'll have the field tech for it. Everyone will have it in mind, for sure. I feel like Zach could have won if he had two E-switches in Blacephalon. Yeah, I feel like he could have. When's the NA regional happening? This weekend. This weekend. 
So there'll be a natural knee-jerk reaction to Zora Locke, I feel. Um, if you're brave enough to play Mali, you'll have to play Chimeco and Onyx. Um, And to decide between Blaze and Buzz. I think both are very good picks, to be honest. Blacephalon has a good Buzzwall matchup, in my opinion, and that is very tempting because there'll be a lot of people trying to play Buzz themselves to try and answer Zoroark, and you can answer Zoroark with your own E switches, so I don't think it's a bad play at all. Um. Buzz is also just trying to hit all those Zoras too. That's kind of why I was trying out the Buzz Naga thing, because it can have a good mirror match whilst also uh, have a good Zoroark. Hmm. More abilities to the board. Yikes. Probably not. Yeah. More Pokemon <coughs> on the board is also a bit of a yikes. We'll do it though. How does it run so smoothly for you? Mind blowing, isn't it? The Decidui game, fair enough, I screwed up, but. The other 14 games I've had with it. <laughs> um... I mean, my turn one was pretty insane. I had three Phonages that I could discard to find Poipoles. I led Bracephalon. Things went pretty really well this game. I'm just let you this you have a beast room. It's not necessarily true. I don't have any energy in my discard. There'll be one at the end of this turn, I guess. You hope the Cephalon Buzz or a Lowland Eggs or Gramble or anything but Zora Rock. Uh, sorry, Control wins Roanoke, so that I can win Harrogate with my busted dot deck. Fun. Joe's a clown, this deck is so natural, it's like natural, it's like a natural avatar. <laughs> You're right, it answers to me. The clown betrays Jack because he belongs to me. C -c 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 combo Cross our fingers. How do I feel about running one Coco or Latios in Zoro Desi Tails for some extra spread? Coco and Latios can't evolve into your busted stage one or twos. And that is a very bad thing. That's what I'd say.
So what are we looking at? We got 100 damage on our board right now. So we need a manual attachment on top of this ring. So we'll acro first. And we got it. Alrighty. Clown Town. Takes its win. <coughs> Alright. The one question mark is how bad that Buzz Nagger did. <laughs> so I feel like that's the deck that's going to hold me back a bit. You had a challenge check? Yeah, I'm just looking at what I was doing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. What a deck. Because we didn't do the Halloween costume stream, when are you getting Joe cosplaying as Bicephalon? <laughs> Is the tech in Bicephalon versus Zora control ditto plus electrode to turn on B string? I mean, that it can work. <laughs> as embarrassing as that is, it, it can work. Uh, I would just play E-switches, though. Reminds me of Buzzgarb. Yeah. It's trying to be similar. Probably worse, but that's just because Garb was busted. <laughs> yep. Garb Tales sounds like a fun idea. Eek. Scary times. this uh, headache okay
Hello, kitty. What are you doing here? You want to have a little sit down? Yeah, you do. Hey, little kitty. Well, the stream hasn't seen you yet today. You've been on my lap for a lot, but I've had to keep throwing you away because you keep trying to touch my keypad. Omnicat, yeah! <laughs> this isn't quite as good of a, as an angle for the Omnicat as it was where I used to sit because she used to rub her head right up against the uh, the mic. Now she's always facing the other way. Have to fix it. What are you doing, little kitty? Four E switch poggers. <laughs> what a mess. This is certainly worse than B strings, though. I mean, maybe it's because we keep prizing on again adults and can't get maximum value, but doesn't quite feel as good. Joe's built Lapras Quag without the Lapras or Quag. Exactly. Sorry, kitty. I don't want you roaming that side of the table. That's where the important wires and stuff lives. And prizes are rough again in this. Prize the Lycan Rock too. Ah, uh, prizing like it's so savage. Ah, uh, why? This game's just a wrap. Otherwise, did 
this was a bad decision as well. Six, seven in hand. The balance is definitely off with this deck for some reason. Why not Claw Slash and Jet Punch follow up later? <coughs> I'm going to give you a little spoiler alert here. He would ace a roller if we did that. That's the spoiler. Remember, it's a Zoroark deck. They play healing. Shh. Yeah, we're in danger now. No spoilers. Re. <laughs> Uh, I really want to let loose, but we probably need to get rid of his hand as well. How many DCs has he been through? Two committed to the board. Only one Zoro in play, but you can so easily burst a lot out. A let loose is still just... We'll just miss if we let loose. Okay. I think we just have to let him have it if he has it, which is a horrible thing to say. <sighs> These prizes, yeah, they've been wild. Both times of this deck. Yep, you got us. Not done at the moment. Beetle. Okay. Kitty, what are you doing? What are you 
you playing at? You know what you did. Any remorse? <coughs> Anything to say about that? <coughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Don't you ever do that again. Oh, okay. Crumbs, this deck is terrible. <laughs> I found my roadblock. <laughs> oh dear, losing to two Zoro decks. Good old Buzzwall. Bloody Lycan Rock. Oh, oh we have a Solgaleo. Yes. One more to go. Right, one more game, Jack. Yeah. Don't you ever reprimand Omnicat again. Is Joe going to build Tita Solgaleo? Find out next week on Omnifuck. Why can't I lead a buzzword with this deck? That's all I want. I play four. Oh, my God. Come on. Not even the baby. What a mess. Oh, look, leads of Zerua as well. Perfect KO. Nope. Can't have it. Can't have it, mate. No, no. Try poisoning it instead. Ah! Fuming. What a hand. What an absolute hand. so frustrating that I'm going to have to try and win a game with this deck. You know the good news? The good news is I was going to try to set a cup. <laughs> I sent this a picture of this deck to Jack like three days ago. <laughs> and I was like, busted. <laughs> sort of like nudged, nudged him. Hey Jack, Jack. Did you? I don't remember. Do you want to see something busted? I did send you this. Oh, I don't remember. You've already did it. I sent you a lot of jank. Started to filter them. Did I send this? Maybe I didn't send this to you. I don't I don't think you did. Oh, maybe it was Sean who I sent this to. I sent it to Sean, Benji, and Luke. Yeah. Benji tried it in league today and said it was terrible. And I was like, ah, I don't believe you. Now I believe him. <laughs> Oh Juicy.
<laughs> Don't even try your amazing jank. I will try everything begrudgingly. There'll be a day I test Tita. It won't be on stream. I'll try everything. There's definitely been some awkward moments where I've faced someone who I know on, on uh, like in real life on PTGO and they see me testing like mill tank and stuff like that. Those moments do happen. True story. Everyone questioning Quag. I don't think I tested Quag until I'd already done well with it on stream. He was just saying everyone questioned Quag even after you did well with it. Yeah, more reason if anything. Nah, that Quag deck was the best thing to come out of this channel in a long time. Don't expect anything better to come. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got. Madness. Have I seen all nine of your decks? No. Other, other than the... This is deck seven. Okay. You managed to lose to a mill tank deck playing Zoro Lock. <laughs> That's great. Time to tech a judge into Zorilock just to get rid of their milky boys. <laughs> I had a great day once when I lost I lost to a mill tank deck as well. I was playing spread, and because he only needed to hit 120 every turn, he used two of his movie milks to heal stuff. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, he's teched. He's teched for spread. It beats everything. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> oh, God. That was a fun day. He's teched. Hmm. Right, so we have two choices here. We can Kukui and try and hit a Lycanroc Naga treasure... Or um, Ultra Space, and then we have it. Or we could Ultra Ball find Lele and have to try and find. No, 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 it doesn't make sense. We have to Kakui first. Yeah. One of those outs, please. Yes, we got the Lycan Rock busted. So we do this. We don't prize our two naggers. Good. I think the most busted thing about the combo is just getting Lycan Rock out of nowhere every time. How many E-Switch you play? Four. Give me that flap flap. Busy and work to meme Joe. Dumb ideas these days. Feels bad. That is feels bad, man. Feels sad, man. Yeah, true. That's true. Sad. That's true. Despair. True despair. Tails, interesting. Mm. 
Yep. You've already got it all. Oh, maybe? No, I haven't. Ah. Crazy! Did Pedro get anything after he got DQ'd? No, of course not. Some stern looks, I guess. Stern looks. Anyone know why one would play Tapu Coco in Buzz Rock? Not really. A pivot is the best I can give you as an answer. Z switches bailing me out. Jeez. Are either are either of us playing Grambo? Well, we'll have to see. I still have hidden decks. But Luke has your Grambles. He does. That's true okay. enough. I wonder how many mucks we're playing that are completely unnecessary then. I'm well, playing at least one. <laughs> I don't know about you. You might be doing the same. Uh, I need to think about this though. Um, I think this might actually be the play this turn. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. How am I closing this game? This comes in, does those things. I need lots of that in response. I have to do some gusting shenanigans. We're definitely going to need this as a piece. It's just, it's not the only piece. Stretches there, okay. Tricky, tricky turn, Jack Old. You've got me in a pickle. I don't know how, because I don't know what my board state is. <clears throat> I've got to do this, cool. I think. Good enough to marsh out I guess. This really is a turning point. You are tragic, aren't you? <clears throat> I actually hate myself. For that one. Just for that one? No. Not even. Not even close. Is this a buzzword deck without B-string? Yeah. Every time Nick made that joke, I was like, Ree, get off my camera. <laughs> I want Super Rod back. Ree, Don't we all? Ah, oh, 
it's all scary, isn't it? Yes, I won. Sweet. Finally got a win with this deck. Unreal. Let's make sure I'm not a clown fiesta. Sweet. Oh, beast energy. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Whew. Too close. This deck is terrible. Third attempt to beat one Zoroark deck. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Well... That can go straight into the graveyard. See you later, mate. That goes under Joe's experimental phase. <laughs> There's something there, but not enough of anything. Doesn't quite do enough. So, I still have this deck to win with. And I still have uh, Zoro Sogaleo, which I need to build. And win with. So, yeah. 7-3, I guess I'll show my um, lists tonight on Facebook. So if you like the look of any of them or want to what face more at the Buzz Naganadel list, uh, you can go ahead. Shall I make the changes now to make this look at least a little bit less embarrassing? I guess I will. Let's try and make this look a bit less embarrassing than it actually is. And put some B-strings in. Still fully embarrassing, but... It looks less meme garbage, like, immediately, right? Still pretty meme. Should we have the four E-switches? They are busted. That looks less meme garbage, right? <laughs> Do you ever have time to listen? When you lead a buzzwall, Jack, you can. <laughs> I think it's really important to uh, to do it against Mali and stuff like that. Okay. Played zero B strings. Don't lie to the people. Yeah, does if they're true fans, they'll see the video. I'll do a little asterisk saying the deck was way worse than this, and I was fully ashamed. Or I could just not save it. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Uh, we'll we'll let the true fans, you guys, see a slightly improved list of some meme garbage, and. Then we'll post the terrible list on Facebook, make ourselves look bad, and make me have to answer hours worth of questions, mainly just the word why. Um, and that'll be great. So let's not save those changes, and I'll post this exact 60 cards and try and defend it. <laughs> so yeah, great. I think that's a deal we can all agree on. Um, right, that's it for today, guys. Uh, we will be back Monday. Uh, will we finish off the thing Monday, Jack, or are we finishing off Wednesday? Uh, I think I'm free for both next week, so you can just do it Monday. Yeah, finish off Monday. Yeah. And um, I'll hopefully have had two cups by then, so we'll be able to talk about those as well. I'm at least going to one cup on Saturday. And I'm cubing poggers on Friday, <laughs> which is going to be great. So cheers for watching, guys, and we'll be back soon. Uh, 
I think this week I'm going to try and get a Solgaleo video out at least. I think I might get two Solgaleo videos out. I'm going to get a Swampert Super Boost build and a Zoroark build out as well. So, fully taking credit for, for Mark's hard work on stream today. Not even sorry. Alrighty. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Cheers, everyone.